and I'm back for another great story for Scarlett in the Arthur's Really Helpful Bedtime Stories. Yes, Belle gets to hear the story, too. She's a sweet girl, and she likes her stories, too. Don't she? You can hear the story with us. Yes. It's called The Tortoise and the Hare. Yes, Belle's going to listen, too. There once... No, don't get on her feet. There was once a tortoise and a hare who lived near each other, but didn't speak very often. The reason they didn't speak was that the hare was always in a hurry. Hello, hello, the hare would say, if they happened to meet on the road. Buster's my name and running's my game. Good morning, said the tortoise. Can't talk now, Buster would say. I've got places to go and things to do. And to prove his point, he would then disappear in a flash. At one such meeting, though, Tortoise finally put in a few words. You really should slow down, he declared. All this rushing around isn't good for you. Can you name any of the flowers you see on this road every day? Have you ever stopped to smell them? No, you're too much in a hurry. Buster took a moment to laugh in the Tortoise's face, and then he was off again even faster than before. The next time their paths crossed, the Tortoise added something else. Faster is not always better, he said. For the first time, Buster came to a screeching halt. What? What did you say? The tortoise repeated his word. His words. Oh, really, said Buster? Well, talk is cheap. Let's have a race to prove it. If I win, I get to train you into a world-class runner. And if I win, said the tortoise, we'll have a long, slow breakfast together every day. And I'll teach you all about the flowers. Done, said Buster. The race was set for the following day. You can start us, Buster said, jogging in place. The tortoise nodded. Ready, set, go. Before the to tortoise could even blink, Buster was already ten yards down the road. Still, the tortoise was not discouraged, and he ambled off at his own slow pace. Soon Buster was so far ahead that he couldn't even see the tortoise. No point in hurrying. Buster said, then he yawned. <sighs> he had to admit that all this rushing about was a little tiring. In fact, he decided, I might as well just sit down and take a rest. He found a comfortable spot in the shade. It was so comfortable, in fact, that he fell fast asleep. He was snoring loudly when the tortoise passed him, and he was still dreaming when the tortoise crossed the finish line. Unfair, Buster protested when he finally awoke. Well, I don't see why, said the tortoise. Buster really didn't either. And so he kept his word, meeting the tortoise every day for breakfast. Before a month was up, the two of them had become good friends. Just as important, Buster finally stopped to smell the flowers, and even though some of them made him sneeze, he was too light to mention it. See? So he went and took a nap, and then the turtle went past him and went over the finish line. Didn't he? Was that good? Did you like that story? All right. These are all the stories in the book. And there's lots of good stories in this book. If you can pick it up at your library or if your mom can buy it for you or something. Because it's really, really good. Scarlett really enjoys it. And this was called Arthur's Really Helpful Bedtime Stories. I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day.